He was a lefty, and this little kid didn't listen to his teacher when she tried to force him to learn using his right hand. He resisted, and the lefty he would always be. He grew up on the family farm on the outskirts of town, and on any day you could see this scrawny little country boy with a variety of items on his person, and none were his school books. He'd usually have his bat, ball, and glove, that's for sure. But on some days it might be his fishing pole or his gun. Harold Brookeen, nickname Cat, or Harry the Cat, pitcher, lefty, MLB debut 1940, played his entire career in St. Louis, all with the Cardinals, except for his last season spent with the Browns. Between 1944 and 1950, Harry Brookeen was one of the best pitchers in the majors, spent eight years in the minors and 12 in the bigs. Between 1951 and 1971, he held the Cardinals' record for career strikeouts for a lefty. And between 1946 and 1976, he held the World Series record for career ERA. Even today, his ERA is one of the lowest in World Series history. Pitched in the 1943 World Series and was a complete game winner in the 1944 World Series. But it was in the 1946 World Series when Harry Brookeen became the first pitcher ever to win consecutive games in a World Series. And in that same World Series, he became the first lefty ever to win three games in a single World Series. But 1948 was his best season. He went 20-7, led the MLB in ERA and the NL in strikeouts. But after every game, his elbow would swell up, which it would do for the rest of his career. He's a little guy who doesn't throw hard, but deceptively, and is a real gamer, who is cool as ice with his trademark big wad of chaw staring you down from the mound. He's called Harry the Cat for his quick reflexes on the mound. Seven seasons of errorless ball, committed only eight errors in his nearly 2,000 games played. Harry Bukin is noted as having one of the best screwballs in MLB history. A two-time All-Star and a three-time World Series champ. He would end his career picking up a suitcase. My dad got Harry's autograph at spring training camp for the Orioles in 1956 over in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is my dad's seventh grade school photo, 1956. He's 13. After the 1953 season, Harry moved with the St. Louis Browns to Baltimore and became the pitching coach for the now Oreos. And for the next 14 years, he'd make notable players like an aging Hoyt Wilhelm, Hoyt Wilhelm into a starter, and Hoyt led the league in ERA. In 1961, Harry helped an over-the-hill Robin Roberts resurrect his career. Harry Brookeen. He mentored greats like Jim Palmer and Milt Pappas. Harry was let go after the 1967 season, but not before his pitching staff completely shut down the Dodgers in the 1966 World Series, making Harry a champion once again.